Today we're making the LGBTQ plus sandwich, which is a sandwich based on the BLT, but with a little G and Q plus a couple other things added in for good measure. We'll start with the lettuce, which is dealer's choice. You can go with tough and rugged crispy water, also known as iceberg lettuce, because only 10% of it is above water when submerged. You can also go for something like Boston bib lettuce, which is more flimsy and dainty, just like the people of Boston. You can also go with a battle-hardened lettuce like romaine, Whatever you choose, just make sure you put your lettuce on the sandwich parallel to the bread, not perpendicular, or it will be too thick and you'll consume unnecessary oxygen calories. Also make sure your lettuce isn't this wet before you try to slot it onto the sandwich. Guacamole is a dip from Mexico made from guacavacados. Start by playing a quick game of guacamole. Then we'll cut these up to get the green stuff out. Most people don't want to do this, but if you cut open the pit, you can get more guacavacado out of there. We'll chop up some onion and some pickled jalapeno jalapenos because every sandwich needs pickles. We'll mix that together with some lime juice, flavor glitter, and some pepper, pepper, pepper. And I think too much cilantro will clash with the rest of this sandwich, so I'm gonna go real easy and just include around 17 molecules worth of cilantro. Now I'm gonna make the bacon, and I'm gonna use the best method, which is baking bacon. When you stuff this sandwich in your face, you wanna make sure the bacon doesn't tear the whole LGBTQ apart, so baking it ensures easy melt-in-your-mouth bites for everyone. Now we're going to slice up our tomatoes. Much like the lettuce, you can choose any tomatoes you want. According to the internet, some great options are Early Girl, Beef Steak, German Queen, Big Boy, Black Prince, Green Giant, or Field Tomatoes, which come from a field. And finally, we'll need queso, as in cheese. Could be a slice of queso, could be queso fundido, or queso blanco, or Tex-Mex style queso. Figure out where you want to be on the queso continuum and just go with it. I'm going with a boring piece of straight up queso. Okay, it's spicy Havarti. Traditional Danish queso. For sandwich assembly, we'll start by putting our bread into the toaster where it doesn't quite fit, so we'll flip and flop it around until it magically emerges from the vertical hot closet like a monarch butterfly. Except instead of flying 3,000 miles a year over several generations while feasting on milkweed and growing 2,700 times its original weight while clapping its fancy wings the whole time, it's more like two pieces of toast. We'll take that guac, which we'll spread out on the bottom. You can also top the sandwich with guac or switch every time you make it. Now we're gonna add the bacon. You wanna make sure the bacon goes between the guacamole and the lettuce, which we'll add next. Now we'll add our tomatoes. They're sliced thin so you don't get the problem of double tomato thickness, which can cause the sandwich to slide apart. But remember, you must coat your tomatoes with flavor glitter to fully bring out their taste. And this is also a great place to add some pepper, pepper, pepper. And now I'm gonna add the queso. And now we're back to the bread, but there's one more thing, and it's called mayo. And it's not just because of my genetics. I mean, obviously I'm a w one quarter French person, so I'm naturally predisposed to enjoying mayo since it's part of my heritage but there's just a symbiosis between bacon, tomato, and mayo that cannot be ignored. This is not the time to deny yourself that pleasure. And there we have the LGBTQ sandwich plus BPSM. Now it's time to get a grip and ram this LGBTQ plus down everybody's throat who you love and who also enjoys sandwiches made with these ingredients who are also expecting you to do that. So it's not a total surprise, but more like a welcome thing because they're hungry and maybe because they said, why don't you go in the kitchen and make me a sandwich as a joke, but you went into the kitchen and made them a sandwich as a counter joke, but then maybe you ate it in front of them as a reverse counter joke and now they regret it because you're going, mmm, this sandwich tastes so good and they actually believe you because it's true.